Hello guys, welcome back to the video. Today is day 15, season 1, so let's get video. Starting off then here, we have the Disco Defender, uh, Alpha Williams scatter trailer, and then the quad parked up. In the shed, we have the last they use, uh, yet to land. You know, seven of them, and they're just enjoying a fresh bale there. Um, so they'll probably uh, finish lambing middle of next week. Then, here we have... Uh, the two ewes in the front have lambed this morning and they're some of the favourite sheep um, so we've set up a fourth pen just in case it happens tomorrow or we have a third one today um, but we weren't expecting um, to be uh, have two ewes uh, given birth today um, but they both had twins and they're looking healthy um, and then we've got the Suffolk ewe in the back there she's had triplets so we're going to have to take one of hers off and find her spare lamb a friend so it's not alone. Then we have the Keenan feeder, tail on the bucket, mop grab, oil tank, sheep trailer, New Holland 7740, Ford 6600, uh, yard scraper, buck rake, and the John Deere tail on the pot up. In the shed, we have the KTM dirt bike, the lawnmower, the coo mower, New Holland mini baler, class one baler, John Deere bear upper, fellow rake, and the JCB mini digger. Then here, we have the main man himself, the farmer. And the new Holland T6175, he's parked up and he's got uh, a local farmer's NC slurry tanker on the back. Uh, so he's been helping a local farmer spread slurry. Uh, he's just stopped to, he's come back to the farm for some lunch and he's going to go, he's got like, I think it's two loads left um, in this uh, beer. So it's got the big flotation tyres on it. Um, but yeah, so he's just been doing that. Uh, and he's just gone in the farmhouse there, and then he'll finish off that. Uh, he's getting paid for it as well, so earn a bit of cash as well. But it also helps out with the farmers. Um, but no, I think that's a mint setup if I'm being honest. Here we have the 5612 parked up. Uh, fertilizer bags and a fertilizer spreader. Spearhead hedge cutter. John Deere trail forager. And the John Deere 6920S parked up. Here we have Matt's Land Rover. He just parked it up there. Uh, Herb's dump trailer. Then we have the final two cows um, in the shed, uh, they've both had calves, that one will be going out tomorrow and that one has calved this morning. Um, so the plan is, uh, the straw is obviously, it's some of it's fresh, some of it's not, um, but they've got their fresh bale so that will go out with them once that cow uh, goes out to the field, the bale will go out with her. Um, and same with the sheep, once the sheep are finished in the shed, then the bale will go out of them. And then once all the animals are in the field, we'll probably put two in each field just to get rid of these. So we can use the bale trailer more. And then if there's a sort of pecking order, then the sheep have many they have different options to get bales from. Um, here we have the uh, bale trailer and the eight bales left. Then we have Matt in the Matt Ferguson 6616. Uh, so she's finally out of the shed um, doing a job. Well, only a small job. Um, so he's just got the Martin size trail on the back there. Um, and he was a bit big and sort of in the way there. Um, so now we've got two spare spot, uh, sort of parking spots for anything. Um, so we're just parking it in the pit because, I mean, it's not going to be used. Um, and it's not like we're using the pit because we'd need to use that as well. And then we have the muck spreader. Knife Williams flatbed trailer, Fleming uh, roller, and a Fleming double bay lifter in the back there. And in the sheep field, uh, this ewe has been let out this morning with her lambs. And uh, then we've got uh, the rest of the ewes, we've got the chickens, and the rest of the chickens and the ducks there. And then, obviously, we've got the rest of the ewes. And these two ewes, uh, their lambs are here. Um, they're having a little run around the field in a group. Um, which not many of them do, um, but these two, that's the third year that was let out and the second, and the first year that was let out, so they will be more friends than with the, the other lambs, um, but we have caught the other times uh, in past years that you'd have like, may, most of the lambs would be running around the field in a group, which is nice to see them having a bit of fun, and it'd be nice when we have the bales to see them jumping off it. And jumping off it again and then jumping off and uh, just having fun really and then they'll get older um yeah and then here we have the farmer's son 
in the John Deere Gator. Yes, she is finally not parked up in the yard. Uh, it took a while to start her up, I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, he's just got the lick bucket there and he's about to stop and let that out for cheap because the sheep will need, uh, especially for spring, you know, will need a bit of uh, minerals. So I'll just dump it in the middle of the field. It just helps give them a bit of boost. And then in the cow field, it's quite busy so far. Um, we're still missing two cows, so there's seven cows and seven calves. But yeah, it's still quite... I wouldn't say cramped, it's quite busy. Um, this is our biggest calf yet. Um, looks a lot like its mum. Um, so, it's uh, it's quite big. Um, it's bigger than the other calves, I know. Um, or maybe it just locks it. Um, but they're just enjoying themselves there. And then they've got their lick bucket there. Uh, we thought we'd do the further away field first, because it saves us having to go through there, and then through there, and then go back. And then we've got these chickens here. Um, these are quite a rare, not quite a rare breed, but like you can't really, they're not very common to get, like it's quite hard to get them. Um, like a lot of people don't tend to sell them. Um, but yeah, so they're just sort of ventured into this field, and then these chickens and ducks will probably venture into the field, go under the fence or whatever, or fly over, and then they'll be in both fields. So yeah, so there will be, uh, episode 16 on Sunday, um, which I do know what's going on in that, so it'll be a bit, I wouldn't say jam-packed, but there will be a, a lot, like four or five things going on, um, so it should be a similar length video to this. So yeah, so if you enjoyed the video guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and bye.